To find the oxidation number for the nitrogen here in NH2OH, we'll use these rules here. For NH2OH, there's no negative or positive sign after it, so it's a neutral compound. And all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So we look at this here. Nitrogen, that can have different oxidation states depending on what it's bonded to. But the hydrogen, if we find hydrogen here bonded to nonmetals, these are all nonmetals, we'll have a plus one. So hydrogen here, plus one, each one of these hydrogens, plus one here as well. For oxygen, that's going to be minus two almost all the time. So here it's minus two. And then we don't know the nitrogen. So we have all the information we need because this will all add up to zero. The reason it's written is NH2OH. If you look at the structure, you'll see this OH group here bonded to the nitrogen. And then these two hydrogens are over here. So let's see what we can do here. We have x plus 1 times 2, that'll be 2, minus 2, plus the 1, that'll equal 0. So x, this is plus 1, equals 0, add 1 to both sides, x will equal a minus 1. So the oxidation number on the nitrogen in NH2OH, that's going to be minus 1. If you add all these numbers up, you'll get 0. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element here in NH2OH. This is hydroxylamine. Thanks for watching.